my friend my hello and i see you now with me and abhishek you have to finish in few minutes because you have introduced all the things okay, okay. yes sir okay just the topic is application of intelligent game theory approach in cognitive radio ad hoc networks outlines this is my outlines introduction cognitive radio technology is imagined to solve the problem in wireless ad hoc network resulting from limited available spectrum the inefficiency in spectrum usage by exploiting the existing wireless spectrum opportunistically game theory is a process of analyze multi person decision making situation where each decision maker tries to maximize his own utility in this paper we illustrate how various interaction in cognitive radio ad hoc network can be modeled as a game it also illustrate a problem with solution approach that uses intelligent game theory techniques in cognitive radio network architecture of cognitive radio ad hoc network where primary users are licensed user and secondary users are un license user which utilize the license spectrum a spectrum sensing method in a cognitive radio ad hoc network a spectrum sensing can be constructed in one of two ways and cooperatively or and cooperatively which is given as non cooperatively in this system each secondary user senses it on environment and makes independent spectrum transmission decision cooperatively in this system each secondary user cooperate with to change the spectrum band and share their result within an environment function of cognitive radio spectrum sensing spectrum management spectrum mobility spectrum sharing which is a function of cognitive radio several challenges in cognitive radio ad hoc network high mobility to provide high mobility packet scheduling priority assignment security and bearing interference basic component of game theory set of player is a block diagram of game theory set of players set of actions set of strategy set of outcome and play of utility preliminaries primary user means a licensed user of a spectrum which have obtained regulatory permission to operate in that spectrum band secondary user is unlicensed user which uses a spectrum band in cooperation with the primary user a spectrum sensing it is a term associated with detection of all wireless channels that are available to use in the surrounding area of secondary user game a game is a interactive decision problem which is constructed of semi structure basically is used for enjoyment uh, or sometime as educational tools key component of the games are goals rules challenge and interactive interactivity game theory this is a branch of applied mathematics which is describe and study interactive decision problem it is study different strategy interaction among rational player where players choose different actions in order to maximize their returns proposed model in this section proposed model is described briefly in the proposed network model g is a undirected graph g is the b denote the vertex and e denote the edge are represented as b and e respectively and 1 2 and 8 as as are the eight nodes and e1 to a, e9 are nine edges stone in sir following your diagram what is your contribution sir i model this diagram and a calculate some here i give the numbers to between the node and calculate the utility function suppose there are three three node 
थ्री पार्ट बिटवीन वन टू एन वन टू एन एट एंड कैलकुलेट दी पार्ट फंक्शन पार्ट वन इज एटीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स रिस्पेक्टिवली ओके कंक्लूड योर कंक्लूड योर प्रेजेंटेशन यस सर इन कंक्लूजन इन दिस पेपर स्टेबल राउटिंग इज प्रपोज बेस्ड ऑफ रेसिडियल एनर्जी पैरामीटर इन दिस मेथड गेम थ्री यूज टू मॉडल कॉग्नेटिव रेडियो एंड ऑफ नेटवर्क इन टू गेम्स मॉडल एंड कन्वर्ट ऑल नेटवर्क इंटिटीज इन टू गेम इंटिटीज टू ड्राइव ऑप्टिमल पार्ट बेस्ड ऑन यूटिलिटी फंक्शन एंड पेड ऑफ इच पार्ट Cognitive radio ad hoc network is dynamic due to infrastructure less property, so its topology is changes frequently. This variation affect the utility function and pay of each link. Therefore, optimal part is not fixed. It changes based on network topology. Future work, I my I try to solve this approach into either S one. NS2 and NS3 simulator and validate simulator result with analytical result. This is my references, sir. Okay, thank you. Very very nice presentation. Okay. Sir. And is there any question from How audience? Sir, yeah, Raju has a question, and uh, I have sent the question in the chat box. Mr. Abhishek, yes. You, you, yes, sir. You please open your chat box. Mr. Raju has asked a question. Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah, please see this thing. <coughs> yeah, I have asked one question. Yes, sir. So, what is multicast routing in ad hoc network? You somewhere mentioned in your slide that multicast routing in ad hoc multicast, network. Multicast at the time there are many receiver, and I. Multicast I routing in ad hoc network. I send the. Uh, in packet to different receiver at the same time